Welcome to Lab 11 Protect your data with the help of Database Vault. Manage database services run the risk of admin snooping, allowing privileged users access to customer data. Oracle Exadata Cloud Service provides powerful security controls within your database, restricting access to application data by privileged database users. Reducing the risk of insiders and outsiders threat and addressing common compliance requirements with the help of Oracle Database Vault. Oracle Database Vault secures existing database environments transparently, eliminating costly and time consuming application changes. The objective of this laboratory as a database security admin is to configure and enable Database Vault. For your Exadata Cloud Service Database instance, create a realm to restrict schema access, add audit policy to audit database vault activities. Step 1. Set up application schema and users. For the laboratory purpose, we are creating a HR schema. The HR schema contains multiple tables. The employees table contains sensitive information such as employee name, SSN, pay scale, etc. and has to be protected. The table should however be available to application users. Note that while the entire HR schema can be added to DB, here we demonstrate more fine grind control by simply adding a single table to the vault. Let's start by creating the HR schema and the app user account. For that, SSH into the Exadata Cloud Service Database. Configure the environment and log into the database as this user. Inside the PDB, create HR schema and grant the required privileges. Create employees table and add the required rows. Next, create application user as app user and grant the required permissions for him. Here, we are granting read any table permission to the app user. Step 2. Configure and enable database vault. We start with creating two DV user accounts, DV owner and DV account manager. The DV owner account is mandatory as an owner of DV objects. DV account manager is an optional but recommended role. Once DV is enabled, the user sys loses its ability to create or drop DV user accounts and that privilege is then given to DV account manager role. Login to CDB as sys user with sys DBA privileges. Create common account users. Grant the required permission to the DV account user and DV account manager. Create an SQL script for enabling database vault inside the CDB. Once the script is ready, create a duplicate session and run the SQL script. Run an SQL script to recompile invalidated objects. Once this is performed, check the parameter Oracle Database Vault. It will be present as false. Execute a DBMS package to enable Database Vault. Shut down the database once the execution is completed. And then start up the database. Check the parameter database vault. It will be enabled 
and it will be set to true. Now enable data vault at PDB level. Log in to your PDB. Now we will enable Oracle Database Vault in PDB. For that, log in to your PDB as Sys user with SysDBA privileges. Grant the required permissions for the common users of DV user and DV account manager inside PDB. Create a script to enable Database Vault. Run the script and a script to recompile invalidated objects. Now execute the PLSQL procedure to enable database vault inside pluggable database. Once the SQL procedures are executed, check the parameter Oracle Label Security and Oracle Database Vault. Both will be set to true. To achieve this, once the PLSQL procedures are completed, we need to shut down and start up the database. Once the verification is completed, proceed with step 3. Create security reliefs and add schema objects. Now we create a reliem, add objects to it and define access rules for that reliem. Create a reliem.sql script to enable reliem. Once the reliem script is ready, connect to your PDB. Connect as DB account owner and execute the steps. Run the script. Once the PLSQL script is successfully completed, proceed with step 4. Create audit policy to capture relim violations. You may also want to capture an audit trial of unauthorized access attempts to your relim objects since the XR Data Cloud service includes unified auditing, we will create a policy to audit database vault activities. Now, create an audit policy to capture relim violations. Once the policy is created, let's test how this works. To test the relim, try to access employees table as HR, Sys and App User. You can test with combination of select and DML statements. In the laboratory, we will be forming a query on HR.employees table. Connect to the HR user and query the table employees. You will get an error with insufficient privileges. Connect as app user and test the access. For the app user, you will be able to access the employee table successfully. Step 5. Review Relim Violation Audit Trial. We can query the audit trial to generate a basic report of Relim Access Violation. Connect as Audit Administrator in this laboratory. This is Database Vault Owner and execute the following command shown. You can see the access attempts from HR and Sys. With this, you have successfully completed a laboratory on database vault.